I'm Natalie and today we're gonna put together the ultimate cheese board. It's the best appetizer to have waiting for your guests when they arrive. I'm gonna walk you through all the cheeses, how to put it together and make it look great. First, we're gonna start off with the cheeses. It's good to have a mix of hard and soft cheeses, something for everyone. Um, I always love to start off with this uh, Cypress Grove Humboldt Bog. It's a great cheese out of California. It's got this blue stripe down the middle. It's good to always place your cheeses kind of in the corners of the board. Place those first. Next up, I love to do a blue cheese. If you're afraid of blue cheese, try Gorgonzola. It's a little bit softer. Here I have this one kind of crumpled up. I love how the edges are a little rough. It just makes something visually appealing for the board. Uh, it always looks great. So you can put that in another corner, kind of opposite your other soft cheese. Next up, we're gonna move into the hard cheeses. I like to cut these up into like kind of cool shapes. It gives another dimension to the board. This is a drunken goat cheese. It has a purple wine rind, which looks awesome. So if you have uh, any wine cheeses, these are great for the color. So you just kind of place these on your board, however it looks good to you. Uh, your guests will love it. Um, and then that looks really great. Next up, I have a Gouda. It's a smoked Gouda. It gives a little bit different flavor than the other cheeses that are a little bit sweeter. I'm gonna start by cutting this one up. Um, again, I'm gonna kind of do what I did before and put these into just like kind of cool shapes. These ones I'm gonna cut a little bit smaller um, and a little bit differently, just so that it gives, again, something else to look at. These don't have to look all the same. It kind of looks better in my opinion if they're a little bit different, kind of like this, and this one's a little bit different as well. Put these in the other corner of your board, just like that. And then just to kind of stack them up and people can grab these or cut these as they want. Um, meat is a great uh, add addition. I love to add these. Um, I get these sliced at the deli really, really thin. So this is like a hot capicola. Um, and I kind of just roll these up into just different types of shapes and just start filling in your board here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll these and just kind of make them into different little pieces. This is gonna make your board look really, really full. So I'll just kind of show you how to do this. You just sort of roll it like that, easy peasy. We're just gonna keep adding that in until we get it all kind of filled in throughout the board. I like to use like a hot pepperoni or salami. Um, it's just something else that people like. This one we're gonna kind of fold into these sort of quarters and it just looks like very visually appealing. You can kind of just plate this there. You can kind of put them close together. So here we're just gonna fold them in half, fold them in half again. And they're kind of like little uh, meat flowers, which is pretty cute, I think. Um, again, this just adds more dimension to your board. Um, this is really what's gonna make them kind of like pop and look great for your guests. And so you just really, you know, we eat with our eyes first. So we want people to just kind of see this, be like, oh, I can't wait to like dive into that and try that. Next, we're gonna fill in the board with some crackers. I like to use two different kinds just to give people more choices and again, just to like add something extra to your board. Um, these are just some sourdough crackers that I picked up at the store. You can use any kind. Breadsticks are always a great hit as well. I like to break them in half just because they're super long um, and this way they'll lay a little bit better on your board. So break these up just a little bit, place them kind of here, kind of along with all the other stuff that you have going on on your board kind of start filling in the gaps there. Next up, I love these kind of like nut crackers, nut and seeds. These are great, they're really pretty to look at as well. Again, we're just looking for things that are really visually pleasing and also taste great. There's tons of different kinds of these, different brands. Uh, so just ha pick whatever is available to you. And I'm just filling these in here, just along kind of like where the meat is. Next, we're going to use the um, nuts and fruit. This is again, just a great way to fill it in. First, I'm gonna start with these grapes. You can use whatever's in season. Cherries are great, apples work too. Um, it's really just whatever works for you. Uh, grapes are always an easy one. Everyone tends to like those. You can usually find them at any grocery store. So I like to use those as well. They're great for just snacking if people just wanna take a little bite. Don't worry about things touching. Again, we're really going for that like abundance look. You never want anyone to have to take the last bite. So it's great if it just kind of looks nice and full. It just makes everyone feel like there's something there for them and something new to try. 
Next up, we're going to do the olives. I picked these up at the deli. There's great jarred ones out there as well. Calamata and Calstraviano are really great options. I have a hard time saying those, but that's okay. Um, these are already pitted, so that makes it just easier for guests to eat with their fingers. You can put out toothpicks if you want. Just be sure if you don't use pitted olives that you put a little dish out for the pits because people won't know what to do and you don't want them to feel uncomfortable at all. So these are great. I love um, getting these where they're already marinated and have a few herbs on them. So I'm just gonna make a little place here right in the middle. There we go. Just adding to kind of the whole look of the board. Next up, we're gonna get into the nuts. You can use any kind that you like. Um, I like ones that are a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to pick up. You don't wanna use anything too tiny because then it just gets weird. These are Marcona almonds. They have some olive oil on them and some sea salt. Uh, they're always a big hit with friends. People love these. And I'm just kind of filling in the little gaps here. Um, any little holes you see where you can fill in, these are great. Um, they're so delicious. They're one of my favorite almonds. So I encourage you to try them and use them on your board next time. They're a great option for anyone. And last, I like to use a candied nut. These are honey toasted pecans. Um, every store has, you know, kind of some yummy candied nut. Uh, it just adds a little bit of sweetness to the board. And I like to fill these in around the edges. They're really great um, little addition. A little sweet to your board. Um, never hurt anybody. And I find that people like it. It's a great contrast to all of the saltiness of the cheeses and the meats and the olives. Having something just a little bit sweet in there is super delicious. If you start to run out of room, that's not a bad thing. Just squeeze them over a little bit, make a little extra room. There you go. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna finish off our board. Here we're gonna add some honey. If you decided to use a blue or a gorgonzola cheese on your board, I love to drizzle a little bit of honey. It's so nice, it's just a nice touch. It kind of cuts that blue cheese. This is a really thick local honey. I love to use local honey if you can find it. Um, if you can't, whatever you can find will do. That'll work perfectly. It just kind of is really interesting to the, with the blue cheese and the saltiness and the sweet, and then you have it on a cracker. I just think it is like so delicious. Um, and always guests, you know, like to try something new, and this is a great way to kind of spice up your cheese plate a little bit. And last, we are going to finish off by putting the knives in the cheese. Always wanna do this last. So for soft cheeses, I use something a little bit soft like this. Um, just stick those in there. This way everyone can know to spread these kind of on the cracker. For harder cheeses, use something a little bit more sturdy. This will need to cut it a little bit more. So you can just start by sticking this in here and sticking this one over here. And now everybody knows what to do and how to eat this cheese board. They're gonna love it. Thank you.